Hey everybody, Dan Latto speaking. So what I want to run through today is how we create a website really quickly, really easily. So we use Wix.com, W-I-X.com. And one of my clients, Liz Couch, is a time management coach and she needs a website doing. And the thing that Liz was getting stuck with was setting up the website and then incorporating a web form into that website. So what we're going to do today is just show you how, how we do that using Wix and it's really easy. Um, so the web form is going to go up here and using Wix um, they make it really easy um, which is why I recommend it and if you want to upgrade and get all the features it's only like three pounds a month I think so um, what we want to do is go and we embed some HTML and they call it an app so we click on that click on add to site and this is the app here and that's where it's going to go uh, you've got two types of mode website address never used it so I don't know what it does uh, but HTML code is what we want and you will just embed your HTML code that you get from creating a web form and then you click update and this this box here will show you the um, finished article so let's just go over to um, Aweber and let's just show you how we create a web form so log into Aweber which is pretty much what it looks like you click on web forms click on create a new form and we're just going to create a really basic form um, just for speed really so we'll use that one we'll make it red so it sort of looks a little bit like Lizzie's colours sort of red and pink in there let's load that template up um, yeah we'll keep the top bit but we'll get rid of this bottom bit here and we'll get rid of that bit and we'll get rid of that bit and in the top bit we want to give a reason as to why someone needs to fill in this these details so it could be a free download so we would use um, um, I don't know download hopefully we can spell it right <laughs> download your free strategy guide on finding an extra five hours per week every single week Let's put that in italics and then also if you look at Lizzie's uh, website it's quite a wide space we've got up at the top there so we can just resize it make it as big as we like and then we just save it and then so your web form has been saved we go to settings and we want to just give it a name so we'll call it Liz1 for now and then you can send it to different thank you pages you can send it to a specific page or we can send you to a thank you page just a basic thank you page so we'll just do that and then save it and then the third part here is we just need to publish it so I will install my form and we want the raw HTML version and it's just that bit there so we copy that that's the HTML code that we need we're going to copy that and we right click and paste it into there and we're going to click update and when we do that you see this box here has changed let's just close that down and we can move this box around now if you notice it's got this um, scroll bar here and it's because we've not given it enough space so a little bit more a little bit more there we go so that's gone now and that's it how easy is that three and a half minutes into the call so we've saved it let's just preview what that would look like and that's exactly what it would look like so um, what will happen now is the person will just enter their name and their email address and they'll then click submit when that happens we will go to subscribers and there's nobody subscribed as yet but you'll see a list of all the people that have subscribed and this is just one simple web form that we've put in I mean literally it didn't take any time at all and we've put that on just the home page if we click the about us page it's not on there so we need to do that so let's just go back to editor mode so let's go to contact us and what we also want to do here is um, let's just get rid of that contact form yeah let's delete that and we don't want that on either so let's just delete that so this time what we can do is we can create another form so we've got one form there which is um, the form that will go across the top of each page and then let's just do it a little bit different let's just use that one for now and we will call this our contact us form 
and then let's just uh, stick in that's not a phone number so I don't know whose it is don't phone it so <laughs> click save contact us you can put your address details in there you can save the form let's just save it as web form 2 uh, oh, let's call it list 2 actually list 2 is fine and again on this one we want to go and get the code so it's HTML so we just click on it highlight it copy it and then if you remember we go to apps we scroll down to this one add to site HTML code, we copy that HTML code, we click update and you see the box in here to close that down. And we need to make it bigger and bigger still. So also let's just move some of this information up so it can all fit. Let's just stick it there. That'll do. Uh, and that, that's fine, really. Click save. OK. And then let's just preview it. So here, on our Contact Us page, we've got another web form. You can put your contact details in there. Using Aweber, quite interestingly, you can also uh, you can stick an image in. So if you've got um, a URL for an image, let's just stick an image in. Uh, I'm just going to copy one here. So it's not relevant, but anyway, click paste and save. That's our image. We can make it wider to fit in. Now, obviously, you can have any image. I've just used one of my search engine optimization training images. But you can stick a number of images in there. If you don't like the shoe, you can get rid of that. Or you can't get rid of a shoe on this particular template, actually. But we don't want that anyway, so let's get rid of it. And in fact, we don't really want to save a web form because we've been deleting things. Uh, but effectively, that's what you'll end up with. Click home, and you'll have the form across the top. Now, if you want to put um, that form on every single page, that's really easy to do as well. So you would go to uh, back to editor mode, go to the app market, you create the form, add it to site. You can see how it goes, it's really easy. We need to go get the code from the other form. Uh, so go to web forms and it was Liz1 wasn't it um, yeah Liz1 let's go get the publishing code really easy and I know I'm doing this in just a few clicks but literally that's all you need to do once you know how to do it it's really straightforward click update and there you go that's a form and obviously it's not big enough so we need to just there you go you can move it around. So let's just preview that. So services, home, contact us, has a form, and that's it. So creating a website takes an hour, two hours. Creating a web form takes half an hour. Takes a little bit of getting used to, obviously, but it's it's pretty straightforward and you should be up and running fairly quick. So again, as usual. Make sure that you implement everything that you've learned in this video. Even if it takes you a couple of hours, it doesn't matter. It's the first time you've done it, that's fine. You know, the first time I was riding a bike, I fell off. And it's the first time you're doing your website, you're going to get stuck. And the first time you're doing your Aweber forms, you're going to get stuck. That's fine, just keep, keep trying, you know. Excellent. My name's Dan Latter. Thank you very much.